Now the good thing about all the laminates sliding on each other is that if you start at one end, so if we start at the top of the stem now, where they're virtually lined up, and clamp, 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 as we start clamping around the corner, all the laminates are going to slide on each other, hopefully, and allow themselves to be pulled round into shape. So we've got a load of little blocks of MDF to go under our clamps. Now to start with, as you can see there, the minute we start tightening the clamp up, all the laminates start squirming and sliding around on each other. So to start off with, we don't want to clamp it up too tight. We want the clamp to be in the middle of the, the middle of the laminate, so we're not pulling that way, that way, that way, that way, and just do that up snug. You can see the glue has started oozing out in between some of the laminates. We're going to end up with clamps probably about every four inches or so, maybe closer on the curves. So we just snug that one up. And now what we want to do is to actually put a clamp down there to try and get all the laminates to line up a piece of wood on top of the little laminates. Put a piece of polythene underneath so it's not going to stick too badly. You can see there that all the laminates are now more or less in line with each other along the top. As with these at the moment, we don't want to do this clamp up too tight because when we then tighten these up, it may stop the laminates pulling together. So we just want to leave that's a bit loose, half a turn, and that's just pulling them down enough to keep them there. And when we tighten these up shortly, they will still squeeze together if they need to. Just clamp another one there for the time being. And hopefully you can see, if you watch up here, you should see all these start to come down more in line with each other. Some of them are on the move anyway. That's all we want, so we tighten that down to squeeze them down, then just release the tension in it a little bit. Start just winding these up. few little hints and tips. It helps enormously to have the handle end of the cramp overhanging your sheet of plywood. If these clamps were turned around for a start, they would all end up tangled up with each other. But trying to turn some of these when you've got a sheet of plywood right under your knuckles gets a bit boring. So out here you've got plenty of room to work. You can tighten these quite easily. Just makes life a bit easier. Now at the top of the stem, the bit that's probably going to end up being cut off anyway later. But we've tightened this one up we can now release this holding down block. All the strips have straight stayed pretty much where we put them. We just put a clamp on the top just to encourage them not to 
splay out because obviously the glue is between them at the moment. And it just needs a little bit of encouragement to and bring it down to the same dimension as everywhere else that it's clamped. Otherwise you end up with the, the top of the stem just flaring out and not a very good glue join either. With the epoxy you don't want to wring every last bit of tension out of the cramp. You want the glue to stay in the joint because it's the glue in the joint that actually does the adhesive bit. So you don't want to wring them up as tight as you possibly can and end up squeezing all the glue out and leaving the joint dry. But just a nice sort of one-handed squeeze. is usually pretty good and just when you've clamped it all up just go back and check them all because obviously over time the glue is going to ooze out here and there now here is just where there's a gap between our two blocks our clamping blocks so we can just bridge that with a piece of timber just to give us Another clamp. Now this is the interesting bit, if you like, where we actually have to start curving the laminates around. The thing to be aware of is that as these swing around here, they don't drag all this polythene in with them. Um, one way around that is to actually slide a spare piece of polythene underneath. later. It just stops the strips rocking up that polythene that's stuck down or stapled down and causing us problems. You can see here as we're just winding this in that our loose bit of polythene there is just sliding across with our strips. What we want to do, we want to just encourage it round with a few clamps here and there and then start clamping up for good working around the corner. We don't want to clamp things up too tight too soon because that could prevent them sliding into the right position and also when we get round to here we want another clamp on top just to squish all those laminates down to the right level again. This is the limitation with these F cramps, is that they've only got a fixed amount of travel each time. Problem with gluing them around here is that the, the bottom is dragging on the polythene and the plywood and and things and so the whole thing tends to want to twist but that's not ideal so sometimes you can just clamp those together lightly because they've still got a slide but it does give you a bit of a lever that you can just push down, straighten those laminates up 
as they're being pulled in. Now this is getting close to the limit of what we can comfortably squeeze with that clamp. So I'm going to try another one right on the end there. Keep that one there for a minute. And you can see how the laminates are held to here. And then as we tighten this clamp, first of all they bend in from there to there, and then once that bend catches up with this bend, the whole lot goes in. You see that? This here is moving in, but this is still caught by this clamp at the moment. But now that clamp started to go slack. These laminates here are starting to just slide around a little bit. Now might be a good time to remove our piece of polythene if we can. That's good. Double up here so that this is under quite a lot of strain coming around the corner. So two clamps are better than one. Keeping an eye down here for this polythene keeping where it should. This end may just want a little lift to help it over the edge of the plywood. Now that's almost in there. We've got about a three mil gap. But that's quite good. We don't want any of this to be too tight because what we're going to do now is start clamping up from here, squeezing it in, squeezing it down, squeezing it in all the way around to the bottom. Just give those strips a squeezing down. There we can see the strips closing a bit. We're not too worried about one or two millimetre difference in the height of these strips here because we've got quite a bit that we can play with. What we don't want is to leave them fly where they feel like and then find out later that we haven't got enough wood there to to make the piece we want. So squeeze down so we just ease the pressure off those a little bit. 